am not a gothic girl. There's nothing wrong with being a goth at all. I do like some gothic fashion elements, but that's not my lifestyle, fashion taste, and aesthetic. Also, just because I wear mostly black or deep cool toned colors like purple, blue toned reds, and deep burgundy doesn't even remotely make me close to being a goth. Wearing all black or wearing black lipstick doesn't automatically make you goth. My sense of style is edgy and slightly alternative which has a dark feminine twist. The colors and outfits I choose to wear or how I choose to do my makeup or what I feel and look my best in. I can comfortably express myself through my style. I'm just bold about how I look. That's always been me and sometimes I haven't always done the best at reflecting that externally. It feels good to wear the things that accurately represent who I am as a person. I made that an Instagram story last week because I got this really scammy direct message from this like gothic apparel company and they were basically saying we love that you love gothic clothes and I was like wait 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 hold up first of all I'm not gothic and I'm not really sure what and how you were able to come to that decision that I liked gothic clothes unless if it had to do with some hashtags I was using but I don't even use the hashtags gothic girl to begin with so I wanted to have a conversation about why I have kind of changed and evolved my style over time. And I think people are misclassifying my sense of style as goth, and that's not the case whatsoever. And as I mentioned, there's nothing wrong with being in the gothic subculture, but that's not me. I'm here to explain like why I've gotten a little bit edgier, maybe slightly more dark feminine in my sense of style because people have been having questions about it, and I guess I'm here to address it. So subscribe, join the kitten squad, and let's chat about this. Ever since I was a kid, I always wore a lot of like skatery punk clothes that were sold from like Hollister and Abercrombie and American Eagle, but I was a little bit punkish with it. And then my sense of style obviously evolved once I got to college where I was dressing a little bit preppier. Definitely not really reflecting me at all. I felt like I was really conforming to the societal standards of what it was like to be a sorority girl at a southern university. And then once I moved to San Francisco, I was able to branch out of that completely. And I was able to get a little bit edgier with my clothes, but I still felt like I wasn't 100% true to who I was as a person when it came to my clothes and even like my lifestyle in general. And then I moved to my influencer era where I was basically dressing in nothing but trendy clothes. And while there were pieces of that that I did like that did still give me that edgy look and vibe to what I was going for, there was still something missing. And then it's like once I moved to Portland, it's like something clicked for me. I felt like I was able to really find my place and really hone in on my sense of style. Maybe it has to do with where I'm surrounded, but at the same time, I just felt like I was able to finally comfortably feel more like me. And then all the things that I had liked for like the longest time, I was able to be more expressive and open about it. And I really have to thank Portland for doing that for me. That is kind of what helped me slowly evolve my fashion taste. And then earlier this year, I did like one of those color analysis tests and I found out that I'm a deep winter. And I was looking at the color palette and it was accurately shocking for me because most of the colors that I like wearing or I feel like really flatter me the most are black, white, burgundy, blue tone reds, purple, and I think that's basically it. So I basically decided, you know what, I really want to commit to this because I have a lot of colors in my wardrobe that don't actually look good on me. They completely wash me out. I do have one lime green dress that I do keep because it does have cool tone colors in it. So that's probably the only thing that's like way out of my color palette. I was thinking to myself, I really want to commit to this because I think this is going to really help me be more mindful of like what's going to flatter me, not wash me out, and just accurately reflect me who I am. And it's a great way for me to express myself. So that's really what gave me the spark to really commit to like what I wanted. And I do have to mention that like my edgy wardrobe in my fashion senses is not 
just like an aesthetic for me because when people want to classify themselves as alternative, are they really alternative to begin with? Because like alternative lifestyles, like there's so many different subcultures. You have emo, you have goth, you have hipster, you have hippie, you have witchcore, you have soft grunge, all of those things. For me, it's not just what you wear in terms of a subculture. It's more of your lifestyle. And something that I've just noticed within myself is that, well, I've kind of always considered myself to be doing things differently than other people. And I just never really knew that I was like that in terms of the alternative subculture. Being a vegetarian, that's definitely considered alternative in terms of what I wanna put in my body. The music that I listen to isn't always mainstream. I mean, y'all know I'm a huge Lady Gaga fan. All hell mother monster. I've always liked punk rock, emo music. I mean, I go to emo nights quite frequently here in Portland. My first one I ever attended was in Seattle. Music was another thing for me that a lot of people back when I was growing up weren't listening to. They were either listening to like hippie music or mainstream music. There were a good group of kids that were listening to the same kind of music I liked, but we were all definitely more outcast compared to what the popular kids were listening to, obviously. Colored hair, like I would still count that more as like fashion aesthetics, but you know, this is definitely more alternative than what society would want us to be wearing. I've always really liked astrology, witchy things, tarot, crystals, all of that. That's very new age, very spiritual, very out of the norm. I just hate conforming to societal standards in general. And that's literally what being alternative is. I have different sexuality tastes than other people. I definitely like things more on the Schmidt SM side, if you get what I'm saying. I mean, I'm wearing a freaking harness. Like that's very, very out there. Definitely not what society expects of us. But like all of these things that I've liked, like this was never ever a phase for me. I've always liked these things. And I've always started liking them very early on in my life before I was even in my 20s or in my 30s. For me, it's like I never really realized I already liked this stuff until I saw that it was considered to be alternative. And that is just kind of what did it for me. And it's like I've always had these things that I've done with my own lifestyle and I wanted to sort of be able to match that to how I can express myself on the outside. And that's kind of what you came here for this whole video, right? So moving into the next thing, I've always considered myself to be a bit of a boundary pusher. And I wanted to do that through my clothes and like what I was wearing in terms of my sense of style. For me, I wanted to have my outer appearance reflect not only who I am, but my lifestyle and what it was gonna mean for me because I hate conforming to what society is. Like, y'all know that I stay true to who I am and I do not apologize for who I am. I own who I am and I'm so proud of that. And sometimes I haven't always done the best job at externally expressing myself as I shared in my previous Instagram story. By changing my sense of style to who I really am, it's allowed me to showcase my true individuality and has allowed me to become even bolder with my own self-expression. I love bold colors, but for me, I really like dark colors, dark bold colors. And I like unique patterns, depending on the pattern, of course, but anything that really makes me feel very edgy or even sexy and feminine. Like I like to say that there's a huge dark feminine twist with my whole outfit because I still like looking feminine and you absolutely can still do this with these lows and your whole lifestyle. And I wanted to make sure that that was still gonna stay intact for me. I had to kind of recurate my wardrobe a little bit over the past year and a half and this year, it's been really curated. I mean, I've sold a lot of things in my current wardrobe or donated because I outgrew them or they weren't the right color scheme for my color palette anymore. And I really wanted to just be particular with wearing certain types of colors because 
that's just, again, was what was gonna flatter my body. So what I'm really trying to say is the lifestyle that I've already lived for myself and how Portland really helped me reach that full potential on what it was in terms of like my edgier and alternative lifestyle. I also realized that I was always drawn to these pieces and I was thinking to myself, why wasn't I ever wearing these clothes or why wasn't I ever really expressing my true self to match the things on how I live my lifestyle and how I always present my personality as very bold and unapologetic and that I don't give a fuck. My clothes don't always reflect that and I really wanted to make that whole package complete. Basically that's everything in a nutshell and I really hope that answers your questions or concerns that you've had. No, I'm not goth. Yes, I do wear a lot of black, but that doesn't make me a goth. Like guys, come on. I really encourage you to do your research on what it means to be a goth. That's not me. And I hope you now know what I am and who I am and that you can respect my choices. But I, I think really my deeper message here is that I hope this video really encourages you to embrace who you are in your own special, unique identity. I think it's important to step out of your comfort zone and to find out what really resonates with you. I think everyone has something really cool to reflect their outer appearance in terms of their fashion taste. Just remember to not appropriate things because that's not the point. It's about like staying true to you and what I've always done and it's just slowly evolved over time is that how I choose to show my outer appearance is staying true to me and I hope this video inspires you to dress the way that expresses who you are in your own lifestyle. Don't abandon who you are. It is okay to evolve, but don't ever abandon who you are. I hope that clears it up. Like I said, if you liked this video and it inspired you to help evolve, make sure you do give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.